Hey, welcome back today where I want to share a word with you that is for the entire viewing audience. This is a word that the Lord gave me going down the highway just a few moments ago. And I had to look it up. I had to see where the verse was and I found it. Because sometimes he'll give me a verse and some words and I might not know exactly where it's at. Um, because I knew where the Bible talked about this at in the Old Testament. But I wasn't for sure exactly the chapter and the verse, but I looked it up and there it was. And, and this is what the Lord laid upon my heart to share with you. I want to say today that I don't know what you're going through. You might be going through a tough trial right now. You might be going through an uh, emotional, maybe problem, financial situation, whatever it might be. This is for you. You might not be going through any problem. This is for you. Okay, if you'll give me this full attention, you're going to see how this word is for everybody. And God wants you to know this. God is speaking today, and he wants you to hear. I'm not going to read the, the verse, but here is the chapter and verse I want you to mark. Now, I'm not telling you to mark in your Bible, but sometimes I like for you to do this if you do. A lot of people will make little notes in their Bible outside of a verse, and if you do that, I want you to go to Genesis chapter number 8 and verse number 22. And if you highlight in your Bible, highlight that verse. And then right out beside of it, make a little mark on today's date that you're watching this. Because God wants you to see this. You know, the Bible tells us that the Word of God was given to us for a reason. That we might learn from it and we might grow from it. Every word out of the Word of God. So God didn't just put things in here that um, didn't really mean anything or was in there just as fillers. No, everything in the Word of God played a part and played a role and is, in, is, and is profitable to each and every one of us. Genesis 8 and 22, and I'm just going to sort of paraphrase here what it says. But it says, as long as the earth remains... As long as the earth remains. So the earth, as long as it's in play. The word of God says things such as heat, cooling, planting, harvesting, seasonal growth. These things will continue. Now mark that verse again. Or highlight it. Mark a little date out beside of it, because I'm going to tie it in right now to what the Lord wants you to know. Basically, what the Lord is saying is as long as the earth remains, the seasons of planting, growing, and harvesting will continue. Seasons. Now, I'm going to tell you today what the Lord impressed upon me was this. And this is what I'm sharing with you. If you're going through something today, if you're going through a battle, maybe it's financial, maybe it's spiritual, maybe it's a family problem. Uh, it can be so many, maybe job related. You're in a season of struggle. But God says your season is only for the moment. Just as we plant in planting season. Then there comes a time when we water or we, we help grow during the growing season. Then there eventually comes a time that there is a harvesting season. In one, one plant, one vegetable, whatever it is you're talking about, there's a part of planting, growing, and then harvesting. And then some things just sort of lay dormant for the what? The winter season. But God said through his word that as long as the earth remains, the seasons will go on like this. So I'm here today to tell you something. You might be going through a struggle right now. You might be going through a dark valley right now. You might be going through a dark time in your life right now. But God wants you to know you're in a season of that. Your season 
will change. Just keep holding on. You can look around you today and you might see other people and think, oh, they're so happy. They're so carefree. Your season is coming. Don't give up. Don't give up on God. Don't let your faith grow weak. Your season of rejoicing. Your season of happiness. Your season of being cheerful. It's coming. Because the Bible said it. It said as long as the earth remains, these seasons will stay in place. God was talking from a physical and from a spiritual. So today, if you feel like giving up, I want you to understand again. You're in a season of maybe things aren't producing. Have you ever drove down the highway and looked over and you've seen somebody's garden and said, boy, the, the rain, it's just not rained this year. Their garden doesn't look good. They're in a dry season, but you can't give up because you're in a dry season. Why? Because it's going to rain again. So don't give up. And I'm, I'm going to tell you this too. I said a while ago, this video is for everybody. You say, well, you've just been talking to those that are down or whatever. No, I'm talking to everybody. Maybe you're one of those that someone's looking at and everything is going really wonderful for you right now. And that's wonderful that it is. But just understand, the time may come when your season slows down a little bit. Maybe things don't go as good as what they have been. Maybe you go through a spiritual dry spell. You go through a dry season. Mark this verse in your Bible because you're going to know, hey, this is just my time. I'm just going through a little season, but pretty soon I'm going to get back like I was because I'm going to come back to the other season. The one season will have passed. The other season will have come forth. You know, we have just come through winter here where I'm talking from and, and right now uh, here in the southern part of the United States. We've just come through winter. We're into the springtime. I was driving down the road just a few moments ago and all the flowers alongside the road and the lilies was coming up and the grass was really getting green. It's a new season. It's a new season. So today, understand, this is very important. Whatever you're going through right now, you're in a season. Don't give up on God, just realize the Bible also said in Ecclesiastes, there is a time and a season for everything. And that's what we just read in Genesis chapter number eight. As long as the earth remains, God said these seasons will keep going. Okay. If you're, if you're going through a valley right now, don't give up. Because your season, your season will come to an end and you'll go into a new season. A new season of victory. And right now, I'm telling you also, maybe you're in a season of victory right now. You know, sometimes you feel like you can climb Mount Everest. You feel that on power for, in power for God. But then sometimes all of a sudden things slow down. And you get up one morning and you think, boy, I don't feel like I did yesterday. Yesterday, I thought I could climb Mount Everest. And today, it just seems sort of you might start a new season, maybe a dry spell, but don't give up. You're just going through a season, and then pretty soon, it'll work its way back around, and you'll come through a new season again with God. God is wonderful today, and He wants you to not give up on Him. He wants you to not give up on Him. He's still real. He still loves you, and He wants you to know that whatever season you're in now, keep hanging on. And if you're in a wonderful summertime type season, keep praising the Lord. Keep worshiping. Because right now you're in, you're in your summer season. Keep, keep worshiping God. And if you're in the low season, your time's coming. You just hang on. See, a lot of times you got valleys and you got mountaintops. But God's the same everywhere. 
Remember, God loves you. God bless you. If you're new here and you enjoy this type of video, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'd appreciate you having you a part of this ministry. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. We'll be looking forward to the next video.